Today, we're going to talk about something really important in our bodies called the endocrine system. It's like a control system made up of special parts and chemicals that help our bodies work well. The system manages things like how we use food for energy, how we handle stress, and even how we grow and develop. This report will break down what the endocrine system is, why it matters for our health, and how it responds when things go right or wrong. We'll keep it straightforward and easy to understand. We really appreciate you joining us as we dive into the fascinating world of the endocrine system. The contents of our report are the medical terms, aging chain, and taking care of the endocrine system. So our first reporter will be Ms. Daniela Medina. The endocrine system is also referred to as a hormone system. Hormones are chemical substances that act like a messenger molecules in the body. After being made in one part of the body, they travel to other parts where they control how cells and organs work. Pancreas. The pancreas is responsible in producing glucagon and insulin. Both hormones help regulate the concentration of glucose in the body. Angina gland. The angina gland is made of two glands, the cortex and the medulla. These glands produce hormones in response to stress and regulate blood pressure glucose, metabolism, and the body's salt and water balance. The placenta commonly referred to as the afterbirth. It is a disc of tissue that connects to mother's uterus to the inguinal cow cord and is ultimately responsible for delivering nutrients and oxygen to a fetus. Human chorionic gonadotropin hormone or HCG. This hormone is only produced during pregnancy and almost exclusively in the placenta. HCG hormone that is found in maternal blood and urine increases dramatically during the first trimester and they contribute to nausea and vomiting associated with pregnancy. Another hormone produced by the placenta is the new placenta lactagon. This hormone produced by the placenta provides nutrition to the fetus and plays a role in eating milk plants. In the, in the breast in anticipation of breastfeeding. Estrogen. This group of hormones is responsible for developing the female sexual characteristic and normally found in the ovaries. Estrogen is also produced by the placenta during pregnancy to help maintain a healthy pregnancy. Gonon. The female reproductive gonads are testes and the female reproductive gonads or ovaries produce a steroid that affect growth and development. Good morning everyone, I'm Vanessa Uleta. Our topic for today is Endocrine System Terminologies. Endocrine System Endocrine glands release hormones into the bloodstream. This lets the hormones travel to cells and other parts of the body. The endocrine hormones help control mood, growth, and development the way our organs work, metabolism, and reproduction. The endocrine system regulates how much of each hormone is released. First is pineal gland. Your pineal gland is a tiny endocrine gland in your brain that releases the hormone melatonin. Melatonin production, responsible for circadian rhythm, sleep, and wake cycle. If melatonin is high, it promotes sleep. If melatonin is low, it causes insomnia. Next is pituitary gland. The pituitary gland or hypophysis is located at the base of your brain below your hypothalamus. It regulates growth, metabolism, and reproduction through the hormones that it produces. MSH or melanocyte stimulating hormones produce melanin for skin pigmentation that help protect from harmful UV rays of the sun. FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, development and maturation of sperm. Luteinizing hormone, assists spermatogenesis and initiates production of stuff. ECTH, adrenocorticotropic hormone, responsible for sodium and water retention. PSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, responsible for cell growth and metabolism, basal metabolic rate and oxygen consumption, growth hormones, regulates the growth of long bones, 
prolactin. High blood prolactin concentration interferes with the function of the testicles. The production of testosterone, the main male sex hormone, and the sperm production decrease. Oxytocin Playing a role in sperm, transport and production of testosterone by the testes. Acts as chemical messenger and has an important role in human behaviors, including sexual arousal, recognition, trust, romantic attachment, and mother-infant bonding. EDH or antidiuretic hormone is a chemical produced in the brain that causes the kidneys to release less water, decreasing the amount of urine produced. Parathyroid hormone is the hormone your parathyroid glands release to control calcium levels in your blood. Thyroid hormone is well known for controlling metabolism, growth, and many other bodily functions. The thyroid gland, anterior pituitary gland, and hypothalamus comprise a self-regulatory circuit called the hypothalamic pituitary thyroid axis. Thank you! Good day! My name is Mark Gilbert Putong and I will be reporting about the aging changes in the endocrine system. The first one is the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is located in the brain. It produces hormones that control the other structures in the endocrine system, including the pituitary gland. The amount of these regulating hormones stays about the same, but the response by the endocrine organs are changing as we age. The next one is pineal. The pineal body is located below the corpus callosum in the middle of the brain. It produces the hormone melatonin, which helps the body know when it's time to sleep. The pineal gland shows clear age-related changes. The human pineal gland calcification increases with age. Some studies have related calcification of the pineal gland to a disturbed circadian rhythmicity in the sleep-wake cycle and a decline in melatonin production with age. The next one is the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is located just below or in the brain. <clears throat> this gland reaches its maximum size in middle age and then gradually becomes smaller. It has two parts. The back or the posterior part uh, stores hormones produced in the hypothalamus. And the front or the anterior part produces hormones that affect growth. The thyroid gland, adrenal cortex, ovaries, testes, and the breast. The next one is the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is located in the neck. It produces hormones that help control metabolism. With aging, the thyroid may become lumpy. Metabolism slows over time beginning at around age 20. Uh, because thyroid hormones are produced and broken down at the same rate, thyroid function tests are most often still normal. And in some people, thyroid hormone levels may rise, leading to an increased risk of death from cardiovascular disease. <coughs> The next one is the parathyroid glands. The parathyroid glands are four tiny glands located around the thyroid. Parathyroid hormone affects calcium and phosphate levels, which affect bone strength. Parathyroid hormone levels rise with age, which may contribute to osteoporosis. That's the end of my report. Thank you for listening. In endocrine system, hypothalamus. This gland is located in your brain and controls your endocrine system. It uses information from your nervous system to determine when to tell other glands, including the pituitary gland, to produce hormones. The hypothalamus controls many processes in your body, including your mood, hunger, thirst, and patterns and sexual function. Thyroid gland. Thyroid is a butterfly-shaped glands in the front of your neck. It's responsible for your metabolism, how your body uses energy, regulates your energy and metabolism. Pancreas Our pancreas is part of your endocrine system and it plays significant role in your digestive system too. It makes a hormone called insulin that rolls the level of sugar in your body. Pituitary gland This little gland is only about the size of a pea but it has a big job. It makes hormones that control several other glands, 
such as the thyroid gland, adrenal glands, ovaries, and testicles. The pituitary gland is in charge of many different functions, including how your body grows. It's located at the base of your brain. Parathyroid glands. These four tiny glands are no larger than a grain of rice. They control the level of calcium in your body, for your heart, kidneys, bones, and nervous system to work. You need the right amount of calcium, secretes the hormones necessary for the calcium absorption. Thymus Health builds resistance to disease. Thymus is a primary lymph point organ, responsible for the production of immunocompetent T cells and with aging it atrophies and declines in functions. Adrenal gland. You have two adrenal glands, one on, on top of the each kidney. They control your metabolism, blood pressure, sexual development, and response to stress. Pineal body. This gland manages your sleep cycle by releasing melatonin, a hormone that causes you to feel sleepy. Ovary. In women, the ovaries re release sex hormones called estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Women have two ovaries in their lower abdomen, one on the either side. Good morning, Miss May. Good morning, St. Peregrine. I'm Unica Ramos, and now I will be discussing the care of endocrine system. How can we help keep our endocrine system healthy? To help keep our endocrine system healthy is 1. Get plenty of exercise. 30 minutes to 1 hour a day of exercise is enough. It is important to choose what is the right exercise for you. It is the best in morning after you wake up, remember to pray first and followed by exercise. Simple stretching and cardiovascular exercises will do. Regular physical activities stimulates hormones throughout our body and helps ability to keep our body hormones in balance, particularly the insulin. 2. Eat nutritious diet. Avoid junk food. A nutritious diet for your endocrine system is nutrient-dense food such as leafy greens, vegetables, omega-3 rich food that is likely comes from fish, berries, fermented foods, nuts, and seeds. 3. Maintain a healthy weight. Check your body mass index if necessary. Monitor your eating habits like the calorie intake and do your physical activities on the right time. 4. Managing our stress. Avoid overthinking for the things that you have no control. Remember, thinking negatively is affecting our hormones. 5. Getting enough quality of sleep. Lack of sleep will affect our hormones too. Lack of sleep will lead you to feel dizzy, headache and bad moods number six go for regular checkup talk to your doctor before taking any medicine or herbal let your doctor know about any family history of endocrine problems such as diabetes or thyroid problems when should I call the doctor let the doctor know if you are Drinking a lot of water, but still thirsty. 2. You are peeing often. 3. Have frequent belly pain and nausea. 4. You are very, very tired and weak. 5. You are gaining or losing a lot of weight. 6. Have tremors or sweat a lot. 7. You are constipated. 8. You are not growing or developing as expected. This is especially for the teenager stage. Therefore, we must know if our endocrine system is healthy. But if you think that 
these signs are not normal to your body, you should consult a doctor. And if it's confirmed that your problem is in the endocrine system, they will recommend you to see an end endocrinologist to know what are the different endocrine disorder treatments and diagnosis we will hear it from miss Adeline verdadero thank you and god bless testing for endocrine disorders if you have an endocrine disorder your doctor may refer you to a specialist called an endocrinologist an endocrinologist is specially trained in problems with the endocrine system. The symptoms of an endocrine disorder vary widely and depend on the specific gland involved. However, most people with endocrine disease complain of fatigue and weakness. Blood and urine tests to check your hormone levels can help your doctors determine if you have an endocrine disorder. Imaging tests may be done to help locate or pinpoint a nodule or a tumor. Treatment of endocrine disorders can be complicated, as a change in one hormone level can throw off another. Your doctor or specialist may order a routine blood work to check for problems or to determine if your medication or treatment plan needs to be adjusted. How is an endocrine disorder treated? First, medication to rebalance hormones and treat symptoms. Second, chemotherapy or radiation therapy for patients with cancerous tumors of the endocrine gland. And third, surgery to remove a tumor on a gland that is affecting hormone production. If your physician suspects you may have an endocrine disease, you may be referred to an endocrinologist. This specialist will likely order specific testing to confirm a diagnosis such as urinalysis, blood testing, fine needle aspiration, CT scan, MRI, and PET scan. Here are the samples of the endocrine diseases. Good day everyone, we are the team the last reporting from Group 5. So now we will be discuss about reproductive system for male and female. The following are 10 medical terms, second, aging chain of reproductive system, last, care of the reproductive system. So now may I call the first reporter please? Thank you. Hi, good morning. My name is Trisha Gabagiano and I'm going to discuss with you that 10 male medical terms for a male reproductive system. We're going to start with the word prepus. Prepus is the anatomy covering of the plants. Uh, it's a specialized junctional mucocutaneous tissue that provides adequate skin and mucosa to cover the entire penis during erection. Number two is the word semen. Semen is also called a seminal fluid, fluid that's emitted from the male reproductive tract and that contains sperm cells. It also contains liquids that combine to form seminal plasma, which helps keep the sperm cells viable. Number three is the word prostate gland. The prostate's primary function is to produce the fluid that nourishes and supports sperm. Number four is the word seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicles, sometimes called the seminal glands or the vesicular glands, are part of the reproductive system. Uh, in people assigned male at birth, they are small glands that produce the majority of the fluid that makes them have semen. Number five is the word inguinal canal. The inguinal canal is a passage uh, in the anterior abdominal wall on each side of the body, one on each side of the midline which in males can the spermatic cords and in females the round ligament of the uterus. The inguinal canals are larger and more prominent in males. Number six is the word vasectomy. Vasectomy is a form of male birth control that has to supply sperm to your semen. Number seven is the word testosterone. It is the primary male sex hormone and anabolic steroid in males. And number eight is the word glans penis. The glass penis can be described as the rounded head or tip of the penis, often referred to as a penis head. Number 9 is the word scrotum. Scrotum is a sack of skin that transforms the body at the front of the pelvis, between the legs. It sits next to the upper thighs, just below the penis. This scrotum contains the testicles. And the last word, the tenth word is spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis is the biological process of producing sperm cells. So I hope you learned something regarding about 10 medical terms for the male reproductive system. Thank you. Have a nice day. 
Hi, I'm Lisa Latour. My topic is about medical terms related to female productive system. First, pubic sympathize. The pubic sympathize is a choice that bridges between your left pelvic bone and your right pelvic bone. Most pubis. The moon pubis is a pad of fat that is located at the arterial over the pubic bone. After puberty, it comes covered in pubic hair, urethra. This is where urine comes from. The urethra is part of the urinary system. It sits just above the vaginal opening. Ovary, part of the female reproductive system. There are two ovaries located on either side of the uterus. They contain and produce eggs and hormones. Paluvian tubes, found in the whole man's reproductive system. There are pair of tubes adjusted on either side of the top of the uterus. Service, the lower narrow end of the uterus. Vagina, part of the female reproductive system. It is the canal that goes into the cervix. The vaginal opening is located between the opening of the uterus and the anus. Clatterus, the clatterus is one to sexual stimulation when when a person experience as well becomes so weak. It is the main organ responsible for female organs. Lavia manual. These are the similar leaves that surrounded the entrance of the vagina. Lavia manual. These are the largest leaves that surrounded the vulva after puberty that typically have pubic hair. Uterus, part of the female productive system. It is a muscular organ where the embryo implants and grow during pregnancy. Good day. My topic is all about aging changes in the male reproductive system. Aging changes in the male reproductive system may include changes in testicular tissue, sperm production, and erectile function. These changes usually occur gradually. Unlike women, men do not experience a major rapid change in fertility as they age, like menopause. Instead, changes occur gradually during a process that some people call andropause for, for men. Aging changes in the male reproductive system occur primarily in the testes. Testicular tissue mass decreases, numb the level of the male sex hormone. Testosterone decreases gradually. There may be problems getting an erection. This is a general slowing instead of a complete lack of function. So here is a figure showing the aging of the male reproductive tract. It shows the bladder, the prostate, penis, and the testes. So, for the fertility of the male reproductive system, the tubes that carry sperm may become less elastic. Um, the testes continue to produce sperm, but the rate of sperm cell production slows. The epididymis, seminal vesicles, and prostate gland lose some of their surface cells, but they continue to produce the fluid that helps carry sperm. So, for the ur urinary function, the prostate gland enlarges with age as some of the prostate tissue is replaced with a scar-like tissue. This condition, called benign prostatic hyper hyperplasia or BPH, affects 50% of men. BPH may con cause problems with slow urination and ejaculation. In both men and women, reproductive system changes are closely related to changes in the un urinary system. So the effect of changes uh, in fertility, fertility varies from man to man. Age does not predict male fertility. Prostate function does not affect fertility. A man can father children even if his prostate gland has been removed. Some fairly old men can be a father also. So the volume of fluid ejaculated usually remains the same, but there are fewer living sperm in the fluid. Some men may have a slower sex drive. Um, sexual rep responses may become slower and less intense. This may be related to a decreased testosterone level. It may also result from psychological or social changes due to aging, illness, long-term conditions, or medicines. Aging by itself does not prevent a man from being able to enjoy sexual relationships. So the symptoms of andropause are seen here in the second figure. Samples of this is um, low energy, depression, insomnia, erectile dysfunction, lowered self-confidence, difficulty concentrating, decreased motivation, reduced libido, increased body fat, reduced muscle, gynecomastia, and infertility. So the common problems um, in the male reproductive system is the erectile dysfunction or ED. It may be a concern for aging men. It is normal for erections to occur less often than when a man was younger. 
aging men are often less able to have repeated ejaculations. ED is the most often result of a medical problem rather than simple aging. 90% of ED is believed to be caused by a medical problem instead of psychological problem. Medicines, um, such as those used to treat hypertension and certain other conditions, can prevent a man from getting or keeping enough of an erection for intercourse. Disorders, such as diabetes, can also cause ED. ED that is caused by medicines or illness is often successfully treated. Um, so we should talk to your primarily health care provider or a urologist if you're concerned about this condition. So BPH may even interfere with urination. The enlarged prostate partially blocks the tube that drains the bladder or the urethra. Changes in the prostate gland make older men more likely to have a urinary tract infections. Urine may back up into the kidneys or it's called vesicurethral reflux if the bladder is not fully drained. If this is not treated, it can eventually lead to kidney failure. So the prostate glands infections or inflammation may also occur. Prostate cancer become more likely as men age. It is one of the most common causes of cancer death in men. Bladder cancer also become more common with age. Testicular cancers are possible, but these occur more often in younger men. Hi, I'm Lily Beth Escueta. Aging process of the female reproductive system. Aging changes in the female reproductive system result mainly from changing hormone levels. One clear sign of aging occurs when your menstrual period stop permanently. This is known as menopause. Perimenopause, the time before menopause, it may begin several years before your last menstrual period. Sign of perimenopause include more frequent period at first and then occasional missed period. Period that are longer or shorter changes in the amount of menstrual flow. Aging changes and their effects. Most women experience menopause around age 50. Though it can occur before that age, the usual age range is 45 to 55 years old. With menopause, the ovaries stop making the hormones estrogen and progesterone. The ovaries also stop releasing egg. Ova oxide, after menopause you cannot become pregnant. You know, you have gone through menopause after you have had no periods for one year. As hormone level fall, other changes occur in the reproductive system including, vaginal wall becomes thinner, drier, less elastic and possibly irritated, sometimes sex becomes painful due to these vaginal changes. Your risk for vaginal yeast infection increases, the external genital tissue decreases and thins and can become irritated. Other common changes include menopause system such as hot flashes, moodiness, headache, and trouble sleeping, which can persist for years. Problem with short-term memory, decrease in breast tissue, lower sex drive, libido and sexual response, increased risk for bone loss, osteoporosis, urinary system changes such as frequency and urgency of urination and increased risk for urinary prop infection, loss of tone in the public mass resulting in the vaginal uterus, or urinary bladder falling out of position prolapse. Managing changes, hormone therapy with estrogen or progesterone may help menopause symptoms such as hot flashes or vaginal dryness and pain with intercourse. Getting regular exercise, eating healthy foods and staying involved in activity with friends and loved ones can help the aging process go more smoothly. Thank you. Hi, I'm Michelle Angela Espino. I'm reporting ways of how to take care of your reproductive. Cleanliness is a basic physiological need shared by all organisms. Practice proper hygiene. Practicing proper hygiene is very essential due to the following. The increase in glandular activity and discharge of the body, the start of penses or the monthly cycle of for adolescent girls, and increased interest in presentable appearance among adolescents. Genital system or a reproductive system is a biological system which is made up of the of the anatomical organs involved in sexual reproduction. I will share to you how boys should take care of the reproductive reproductive system. Taking care of ourselves and making healthy choices can help protect us and our love our loved ones from infectious disease. Number one. Care for, the, for, care for the male reproductive system includes washing the external organs and monthly testicular self-examination to help prevent problems. Number two, 
Circumcision has various health benefits, including easier hygiene, decreased risk of urinary tract infection, and prevent of penile problem. Science fact. Uncircumcised penis, penis can be washed regularly beneath the foreskin. The foreskin is more complex than you might think. It isn't just skin. Think of it as more like an eyelid for male genitals. The foreskin is made of the mucous membrane analogous to the inside of the eyelid or the inside of the mouth. If a person does not clean his penis regularly, the smegma can build up, resulting in a thick white substance. Smegma is a cheesy sebaceous matter that collects between the glands, penis, and the foreskin. This buildup is more common or uncircumcised penises as it forms around the head of the penis. In addition to a bad smell, smegma can cause redness and irritation. Number 3. Gently washing your penis once or twice day a day with a lukewarm water is sufficient to maintain good hygiene. If you want to use soap, choose a mild or non-perfume soap to reduce the risk of skin irritation. Number 4. Wear only clean underwear and change as often as needed. Using of other underwear should be avoided. Rinse under clothes carefully after washing or double rinse and avoid using too much laundry detergent. Number 5. Eat a balanced and nutritional diet, maintain personal hygiene, have adequate physical exercise to maintain good reproductive health. For the girls, use lukewarm water to wash the vulva or outer part of the vagina. Dry it thoroughly with a clean towel. Avoid feminine hygiene products which can irritate the vulva such as feminine spray and deodorants, scented oils, bubble baths, bath oils, talc, or powder. Don't scratch or rub your private area. It might trigger irritation. It is best to consult a physician if you have or experience severe itchiness. Science fact: The normal of the pH of the vagina is less than 4.5, which is similar to the pH of wine. Lactobacilli are the good bacteria that dominate the vagina. They help to keep pH level normal in our lady parts and prevent the growth of infection causing bacteria. When levels of lactobacilli fall vagina pH level can arise above 4.5, which is ideal breeding ground for vaginal infection such as yeast infection and bacterial vaginosis. Number 3. It is best to wear 100% cotton underwear. Avoid wearing nylon acetate or other man-made fiber if you have delicate skin. They trap heat and moisture, providing an ideal breeding environment for irritation and infection. Number 4. Rinse under clothes carefully after washing or double rinse. Avoid using too much laundry detergent. Just use a soap, mild soap for washing under clothes. Number 5. Use soft toilet tissue or white, on white only after urinating and use sanitary napkins to control menstrual bleeding. Do not leave napkins in a long period or all night. Now let's proceed about reproductive system diseases. First disease is, is for male and female, it's STI and STT, known as sexual transmitted infection or sexual transmitted disease. STI are caused by bacteria, viruses, or parasites. When we say transmitted, they are spread mainly by sexual contact. And one of S STI is having human papilloma virus or HPV. STD, if the HPV or human papilloma virus infection develops into genital warts or cervical cancer then it is considered an std so std is often a chronic condition next male diseases is testicular cancer form when malignant cancer cells develop in the tissues of one or less commonly both testicles these types of cancer can spread rapidly and deadly if left untreated symptoms was pain discomfort or numbness in a testicles or the scrotum with or without swelling. Next, male infertility can be caused by low sperm production, abnormal sperm function, or blockages that prevent the delivery of sperm. They call it spermatogenesis. Some risk factors are smoking, drinking alcohol, overweight. 
Next one, erectile dysfunction. The persistent inability to achieve or maintain penile erection sufficient for satisfactory sexual performance. Main cause, heart disease, high cholesterol, hypertensive, in short, unhealthy. Cervical cancer for female diseases is a type of cancer that develops in a human, human cervix, the entrance to the womb of the vagina. Long-lasting infection with certain types of two Human papilloma virus is the main cause of cervical cancer. Next is breast cancer, a disease in which cells in the breast grow out of control. A kind of breast cancer depends on which cells in the breast turn into cancer. Because of polycystic or ovarian syndrome is a common condition where your body may have too much of the hormones that help control your reproductive health and growth. Next is endometriosis, is a disease in which tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows outside and uterus. It may cause back pain during periods, severe menstrual, menstrual crops, painful sex, men. Next is HIV or AIDS, human immunodeficiency virus, is a virus that affects... Hi, I'm Mariluji Martinez. Our topic for today is treatment for reproductive system. What are the treatment for reproductive system? The treatment for a woman are fertility drugs are the main treatment for women who are infertile due to ovulation disorders. Fertility drugs generally work like natural hormones, follicle stimulating hormones, FHS, and luteinizing hormones, LH to trigger hormones. Intrauterine inseminations or IUI. With IUI, healthy sperms are placed directly in the uterus around the time that the ovary release one or more eggs to be fertile. Surgery to restore fertility. Some conditions of the uterus can be treated with hysteroscopy that includes pelox, scar tissue, and some pig rods. Treatment of reproductive system for men. Lifestyle changes. Get regular exercise, less drink alcohol, and stop taking medicines that can affect fertility. Medicine. Take medicine to improve sperm counts and boost the changes of a successful pregnancy. Surgery. A repairing a large separate cell may improve overall chances for pregnancy. Sperm retrieval procedure can collect sperm if you can ejaculate or if no sperm is in your semen. Use assisted reproductive techniques. Our plan and sperm count are low or irregular. What are the best fertility treatments used by couple? 1. Intrauterine inseminations or IUI. In vitro fertilization. 3. Donor eggs. 3 gestational carrier or surrogacy, egg freezing, and fertility drug. Some complications of treatment in, in reproductive system. Multiple pregnancy are the most common complications of infertility treatment is a multiple pregnancy to have twins, triplet, and more. Ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome or OHSS. The cause of this is the ovaries become swollen and painful because of the use of assisted reproductive technology, the symptom is in the stomach are stomach mal pain, bloating, and an upset stomach that lasts about a week, bleeding and infections. The assisted reproductive technology or reproductive surgery comes with a rest of bleeding and infections. And this is from group 5. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day everyone. Bye!